Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, maybe leave a comment. Those really help out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon. So I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see if it's on sale, check out the current price point, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product is a 16-in-1 docking station by a company called Intipu. This is the box it's going to come in once you order it. And then once you open it up, you are, of course, going to get a user manual that's going to tell you all the details about the product itself. You are going to get a little adapter here for an HDMI to a Vega connection in case you have an older style monitor. Then you are going to get a USB to USB type C cable. You can use this for hooking up your phone or other devices. Then you are also going to get a USB type C to USB cable and you can use this to hook it, this device up to power. Now, of course, then you are going to get the docking station itself. So why I like this is it's super compact and nice and small. It has a solid metal housing here, which acts like a heat sink and whisks away that heat. Now, as you can see on the front and the back, there is a ton of ports. So let's go over all your options. So first off, right on the front here, we have a US, or sorry, a um, SD card slot and an SD micro card slot. Then you have three USB 3.0 um, ports. And then down here at the bottom, you have a USB 3.2, which has those faster data transferring speeds. So this thing will transfer up to 10 gigabits per second if you're using those ports versus those which are five gigabits per second. Or if you're using right now on your older computers, the just the 2.0, that's a lot slower. So then very bottom there, it has a headphone jack if you want to plug headphones into this device itself. Now on the back, you have a display port and an HDMI one port, and then you have the second HDMI port. Now what's nice about this device is it can support up to two monitors. What makes it a little bit more unique than some of the other products out there on the market both monitors can be supported up to 5K at 60 hertz. So to give you an idea, you can use the both HDMI ports to get that 5K signal. However, I do need to point out that if you are using the display port, you're only going to get up to the 4K at 60 hertz. Now, it is also recommended that you download the drivers um, to this guy because that will get you the latest connections for your computer and make sure that you don't have any issues. If you do hook this up and you're having issues, that may be your problem is you don't have the latest drivers which you can download. Um, then right below that is two more ports of a USB 2.0. Now, ideally you're gonna use these ports if you have a keyboard or a mouse that's kind of Bluetooth. You want to plug those in the back because you don't want to take up your fast ports if um, you don't have to. You want to save these for transferring data. So plug in your slower devices on the back here. Then the next guy right there, that is a USB type C charging port. You can take this and plug it into your laptop. So if your laptop has a USB type C power, you can use the included C to C cable, plug it in here and plug it into your laptop and power it up. This guy has a hundred watt power, um, so you can charge pretty much most laptops. Then below there is a LAN port if you want to connect this to um, basically a hard wire. And finally at the very bottom is another USB type C port with a plug and this is what you are going to plug into um, a wall outlet. Now, it is worth noting also that while they include the cable, they don't include the adapter. So you have to have a USB plug outlet or you're going to have to pick up yourself an adapter to plug this in if you don't have one laying around the house. Now, I also want to mention it is compatible with both Windows or Microsoft OS systems. 
So no matter which one you have, if you have multiple monitors, then you can utilize each one of those systems. If you don't have multiple monitors and you're kind of like me and you only have the one or two ports, it also is nice because it gives you that additional access to where you can plug in a lot of stuff. Um, for example, I can't plug in the uh, SD micro. My computer doesn't do that. It only does the big one, but a lot of my stuff have the micro slot. So that is kind of nice to utilize. Um, one other thing I want to talk about when the drivers, when you're downloading on uh, this particular model is the DL-6950. Uh, um, but yeah, that is basically the ins and outs of this little device. So if you have a setup where you are wanting multiple monitors or you need additional ports, this guy will get you covered. It has a lot of flexibility. It has the latest and greatest and fastest speeds out there. Um, and it's nice and compact and small, uh, which I really, really like because it doesn't take up a lot of desk space. If there was something that I did not cover that uh, you're curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. Like I said, I do typically respond to those. If you enjoyed the video, say thanks. I greatly appreciate that. Be sure to check out the link in the description to take you to Amazon. And until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.